Hello and welcome to this mix-up. Nikolai, premium vodka, but premium liqueur. Liqueur, Nikolai, introduced in 1941 by the Seagram's company, but they sold Nikolai to the Sazerac company, the current owners, in 1989, and now it's produced at Buffalo Trace Distillery, Frankfort, Kentucky. This is the green label, premium vodka, but premium liqueur. I paid $8.99 for the handle, 1,750 milliliter bottle. All right. There's no website for it, so can't help you there. Um, the black label is the pure vodka, no liqueur in it. The red label is 100 proof, super strong. The Then they have all the flavorings, the pineapple, the peach, the blackberry, whatever flavors they might offer. Now I'm going to mix it up with Burst Tropical Banana, 500 milliliters, artificially artificially flavor they're not translating it so well from Spanish artificially flavor banana soda should say artificially flavored but anyway and here it says artificial flavor well who wants to be bothered with all that natural flavor anyway better taste if served chilled yes product must be stored in a fresh and dry place out of direct sunlight refrigerate for quality all this was all done. Imported and distributed by Purvey Alliance Corporation in Miami, Florida. Uh, it's from a company called Demi Pa. Demi Pays. But they don't say anything about it. They just list it. Now you know you could order it from them directly. Carbonated water. Sugar, that's why I bought it, sugar, artificial banana flavor, citric acid, sodium benzoate, preservative. I wouldn't have bought it if I'd have seen this. Aspartame, that's fake sugar. Um, stop right there. Okay, I thought it was pure sugar. Well, it just goes to show you, if you don't read the label carefully, you get tricked. It was a dollar at B&G Grocery, B&G in Chalmette, Louisiana, on Louisiana Highway, I believe that's 39, right? It's 39, it's the north one, and the one parallel to it is 46, right? One that hugs the river. Um, 39 westbound. All right, anyway, that's probably not important to anybody watching. Um, Premium vodka with premium liqueur. That fridge might come on making that squeal. Doesn't last long. But anyway, uh, so it's clear. Uh, to me, they're adding like some kind of vanilla liqueur to it, but I can't be sure. They're not going to tell you anyway. You're never going to find out from Sazerac. Mostly just grain vodka, all right? So they told me on the telephone that all of their vodkas are at least 51% corn. The other 49%, I guess, could be corn as well, but other grains or substances distilled out. Smells clean. You get a little cereal in it, a little vanilla. Okay, taste shows. <laughs> Definitely. It's got to be vanilla and sugar. I don't know what the flavors could be, but beyond that, but that's what it tastes like to me. They put sugar cream and vanilla in it. Um, is it worth $8.99 for the handle? Most stores around here have it for $11.99. Uh, yeah. Well, it's not sold in this town, but closer to New Orleans. Yeah, it's worth it. No problem. I mean, I give it a B. 80, 86 out of 100. I'm going to say 85. 86 out of 100. A good product. Nothing great, but good. And for these mix-ups, it's fine. Okay, so never had this before. Aspartame. Well, I would never bought it. Ah, tight. Made a little hiss. I'm going to start examining these more carefully because I've been getting burned on these lately. I see sugar, and I'll pick it up. Then I read down the ingredients list, and it's got some kind of artificial sugar. Artificial sweetener. Does it smell like vanilla? 
I mean, huh, vanilla. Got vanilla on the brain. Does it smell like banana? Well, not really. It smells like some chemical of I can't identify. This is not a bad aroma. Okay, like paint. Some paint smells good. Let's go with the taste. Cheers. Exterior. Exterior satin. All right. <laughs> Water-based paint. Latex. Glidden. Um... It's sugary sweet. There's some banana flavor, but like I said, artificial banana. They do some food chemical concoction to make it taste sort of like banana. They put that thought in your head, banana. So yeah, I guess there's a little waxy chalkiness to it also, undertaste. It's marginally good. I'm gonna go with an 80 out of 100 B minus. It's marginally good. Uh, I didn't know what to think when I bought it. I'll see if they got any video reviews for it. Probably 50. If it's anything like the Jones. Berry uh, Lemonade. I'm still trying to watch all those. And I'm about halfway through. How does it mix? It's alright, but it's sugar on sugar, really. You know, the vodka's not supposed to be sweet. You say, well, that's a fault. How are you going to give it a B? And it's a vodka and it's sweetness, and uh, I know, but this is a vodka with a premium vodka with premium liqueur, honestly. So it's not pure vodka, vodka with premium liqueur. Okay, and of course, Total Wine had it right there in the vodka section. They don't have a, they don't really have a section for something with something else. They got liquor, gin, vodka, brandy, rum. Then they got liqueurs but they don't have that kind of shadowy area they don't do that and i've never seen that at any liquor store you know they've got uh <clears throat> give you an example you go to total wine and more they've got um and not to mention other liquor stores i'm thinking of they've got um 10 high right there on the shelf with the other bourbon but if you read the ca bottle carefully it says 10 high Bourbon whiskey with natural flavors. Kentucky Tavern. Bourbon whiskey with natural flavors. Um, early times. Whiskey with natural flavors. So, but there's not a section for that. All right. There's not a section for vodka with natural flavors, which is another thing you'll see from, uh, from uh, Taka, the Taka 80, or Skull premium skull premium or crown rust premium hmm. oh well they just stick it where they you know vodka gin oh yeah there's another one uh, miles is miles gin with natural flavor and so forth if you like sugar it's fine um it's not that great of a mix-up honestly Carbonated. Tastes like cotton candy. Which I'd be glad to never have again in my life. But uh, I don't hate cotton candy, but I'm not looking at I'm not eight years old. I used to like it when I was eight years old. Okay, uh, so oh well, things work out, sometimes they don't. And I'm gonna end this review review by saying go to Honduras <laughs> if you're brave or a or a fool and take a food factory tour. Or a brewery tour, or a distillery tour.